is going on with you my friends welcome to the channel Brian the Divine Healer here with you about to throw down on your tarot card reading that's right Aries Taurus welcome to your message okay. so stick around to the end of the video so then you get your whole entire message and welcome so I'm using two decks right hand and hand one for one by Sears tarot deck steampunk deck that's how I'm doing your messages from now on now I got that said give a shout out to my subscribers and Woo! my members I appreciate y'all right <clears throat> so let's get it started here and see what is going on with you today oh shit so noobs I'm gonna lay two cards down in the beginning that represents your masculine feminine light dark side getting that right then i'll lay more cards down and tell you a story the story's gonna have your message right these roles could be reversed or these energies could be switched and this is a disclaimer i do not take this as entertainment and what i find here in this message in this reading it is not of my fault that you're going through this so take responsibility for that and also that I'm going to help you through this. So if couples are about to break up and I tell you you're gonna break up, it ain't my fault. So either one of y'all don't come at me, okay? Just saying. Watch the video to the end because there's always that light to go to to see how things can be fixed because what better way of an opinion is an innocent bystander, okay? To give you the raw facts of what is black and white. Okay, with that being said, one more shuffle. Let's throw down these cards. Uh, here we go. Here's your first one. Ooh, three cups again. This is coming out a lot. Okay, good. So, I mean, this either A could be a third party situation or it could be that you're excited. Mm. Right? Let's find out. Ace of Swords, boom! Ace of Swords. Yeah, truth and clarity about a third party situation. Third party interference. So this could be you that's interfering or someone interfering with you. Let's find out. That's your energy now. My friend, she's standing over there like a statue. Peeper! Pee pee! If you can see her, she ain't even budging. <laughs> She's weird. Come here, Munchkin. What are you doing? Are you a Roman statue? I'm good girl. Let's go. <clears throat> Two of Cups. So somebody's in a relationship. Or one, well... This is unity, this is coming together. It doesn't have to be a love relationship because you can have friends and that's called a relationship. You can have coworkers, that's called a relationship, right? This is what it is, two of cups. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave that there and keep going. Because <laughs> I do not want to tell you what just racked in my head. We'll let the story unfold. All right, so two of cups, there it is. Union, unity coming together, some kind of relationship. All right, like I said, doesn't have to be love. Ooh, the Empress, ooh. What are we doing here with the Empress? Beautiful, nurturing, grounded, abundant, sexy, right? Mm, it's getting hot and delicious over here. Well, it looks like um, some of you want to come together with um, 
an empress, right? Like I said, it could be friendship, could be romantically, it could be uh, work related, however that is, but this is what you're feeling. Okay, this is what's showing on the table, but also here with the Three of Cups and the Ace of Swords, this says to me that with the swords being in your mind and your communication, it looks like you want to express the truth about some kind of third party situation hoping to regain something with this empress. Friendship, possibly, right? We'll see. We'll see. All right. Mm. sword says that you are worried stressed we have a lot of anxiety going on at the moment mm. isn't that interesting well nine of swords that also could be achieving some kind of mental clarity you're worried about giving the clarity Sure are worried about telling the truth. Okay, that's interesting. Page of Swords. Oh, snap. Well, now, what do we got going on here with the Page of Swords? Research, gathering information, spying. And that spying is right next to the Three of Cups. So the third party situation is the one that is doing the spying. And the truth and clarity is that you know this. And this is why you have anxiety. And this friendship isn't with the Empress. It is whoever that you're having the spying have helping. Because you know. So what the cards are saying, let's keep going. All right, page of swords. You worried about being found out? Wow. All right. Here comes your next card, my friends. Juicy dirt. This ain't going to relate to everybody, right? So, eight of pentacles. Or three of pentacles. This is the collaboration. Coming together. The truth is, this is what happened. There could have been three or, or more people that were involved with this, either spying on you or you sending out the people to spy on this empress. Yeah. Okay. Um, Pull steampunk deck card, right? And see where this is going to float off to. This is very, very heavy energy. That Nine of Swords is not nothing to be joking about. Somebody's really weighed down a lot because of this. And there is the Magician. Trickery at its finest, my friends. That's right, the Magician. Because why? The sleight of hand. Where'd you even get the rabbit to pull it out of a hat, right? So it's all about trickery and manipulation, right? That you had um, joined in with. Knew about it. Maybe even directed. This is why you're worried, because it's all has to do with this empress. Holy shnikes. All right, let's keep going. Next card is the Six of Wands. You straight collaborated to try to manipulate this Empress's victory, their success. Look at this on the stage. Right? So this Empress is a woman. This is a woman. So this is the back of the Empress on stage. So you try to manipulate them out of their good luck, of uh, their victory and its success. It's something to do with the platform, too. 
of straight manipulation of this this is the spying this is all this this is very weird <laughs> yeah wow okay these downloads i can't really help the way they come out but i'm just gonna try to show you what it all says what it all means okay wow this is bananas right strength courage Major Arcana, Magician's a Major, and Empress Major. Man. This was like fierce, man. You really, or somebody, really went after this person. They really, 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 really fiercely went after their uh, stardom, their platform, their success, their victory. It's just straight through manipulation of what? Collaborating with others. To spy on this person, this is why you're a wreck. Let's keep going. <laughs> what? I mean, is this the Twilight Zone? I don't really have these readings like this, but, um, you know, I think there's like a huge energy uh, shift going on and <clears throat> really pick up on some things pretty good with uh, <laughs> no effort. All right. <sighs> Too many fell on the floor. I can only take one. Let me just get a quick shuffle real quick. We'll keep going on with the story. This is like, I don't know who's this for, but it's definitely for somebody because it wouldn't be this uh, heavy for me. <laughs> Let's go. Ten of Cups. Even though the Ten of Pentacles is really like about family, there is a family in this card with the Ten of Cups. But this is like happiness, right? This is like joy. This is like complete emotional fulfillment. And you... I, I kind of want to quit this reading, man. I'm telling you because this is like getting to be too much. It's like you got some enjoyment out of doing this. I'm just going to say it for real. Like you were fiercely involved with manipulating the situation and you were enjoying it. But now, well, you were. But you're kind of worried. So that's turned because the completion is in the number 10. Tens are completions and endings. So wham! I'm so happy now. I don't know who this is for. This is really driving me kind of daddy. Because I wouldn't want to think anybody in my collective, especially on my channel, is pulling this kind of crap. But we'll see. Cycle, boom, there it is. Confirmation of that Ten of Cups, completions, ending, cycles, change. So yes, now something, now the ball starts to be rolled. This living it up moment is kind of done. The spying is done because that cycle's changing. Manipulating this person's fortune. What am I even saying right now? Mm. Saying you got a whole bunch of birds ahead of you. That's the cycle changed. You are now going to be afflicted with a bunch of burdens that are going to be very heavy with you and these people that were collaborating and manipulating, coming together against this empress. <laughs> That's all I can say, man. I'm like lost for words. Yeah, because I feel they're not even my words. 
they're just being put into me, so let's keep going. By the way, not only am I my life coach, you say spiritual practitioner, but for obviously the good side. Um, but the way that I'm feeling, it's seer, man. So I'm telling you what I see. And what I see is exactly the situation, what's going on. Last card of your story. Here is your death and transformation. Boom. Ending to all the manipulation of this person's success, this victory, ending of the spying. This is the truth and clarity that's out here. The death card's got the sickle ready to chop this down. So the death card and the wheel of fortune. It's all over. Now it is. All right, that was fun, right? So, <laughs> woo, let's get to the outcome here in the verdict and see how this all rolls out. Yeah, stressful a little bit, huh? King of Cups. Hmm. This is going to, like, change you. This lesson of what's been going on, now that it's being halted, you're going to learn a lesson of self-worth. You can't take from other people because you think that you deserve it. If you deserve it, they put in the work to do it because you don't know what this person had to go through to become an empress. Remember, there's four queens in the deck, so all four queens are different levels of queenship. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. Those are all different levels that a person has to go through to achieve being this empress. So with this mentality of this manipulation, no wonder there were shortcuts and other people trying to partake in this to make it easier for you. Because you couldn't post up as the empress because you're not hitting any of those levels. Who am I talking to? I don't know. But this is a lesson of self-worth. That King of Cups is right next to that Wheel of Fortune. That's all I can say. I'm like dumbfounded. Yeah, 70 cups. This was just straight an illusion. Fantasy on your part to think that, that you could get over on this Empress and take away. You might have, but it's all coming back. It's all being changed. This is not going to look good for you in the going through process. But then at the end, it looks good because then you get to transform yourself into um, understanding your self-esteem and your self-worth. And you don't need to really, um, like I said, take from others to make yourself better. Because whatever you got going on, you can make better yourself. Otherwise, put it in the damn work like this empress did to get what the hell she got instead of you trying to jack it and use other people to help you jack it. What? <laughs> yeah, my friends, this was absolutely crazy, right? Crazy, crazy, crazy. And you know how I define the word crazy? You ever had something that you were like, oh, hey, man, check this out. I got to tell you this. Blah, blah, blah. I used to tell a story. And the person's like, man, that's crazy. Or you're crazy. Nah, that didn't happen. You're crazy. You're not like that, right? Whatever. Man, crazy just means that other person that you told, shared, whatever, uh, doesn't understand. Their intellect is deficient on the level of yours, which means that they don't understand basically what you're saying. They can't grasp the mentality of the level of whatever that you're bringing to them. That's the word crazy, right? 
lack of understanding, right? It's like there's no computing in your brain for you to understand how this even works out as an example, right? So then that's like you're drawing a blank and that's where it comes out to be crazy. Yeah. So anyways, my friends. Yeah, this, this message was pretty heavy. So, uh, you know, resonated on a little bit. I'm sure that the progress of what's being going on is already being transformed and taken care of, but more so of just look at the ending, okay? Focus on the ending. Focus on understanding your self-worth, right? Your love for yourself. Because you got a lot of love to give. You just got to give it out, but you're just doing it the wrong way. So when we drop the egos, the jealousy, and the entitlement, well, then things start looking pretty good. Yeah. Sorry for that. It's a little stinger, but, you know, we all need a little whiplash once in a while to keep us online. And what is online is our journey. Right? For a better selves, higher selves, right? You can fall down, scrape your knees 17 times. The 18th time, you're like, I am going to go a different way. Some people get it the first time. But it doesn't matter. It's always the end result that we got to focus on. Okay, because focusing on through the details is going to keep you stuck and worried and stressed and it, that's no good. Yeah. So anyways, my friends, that's about it. So you got a little bit of tarot, you got a little bit of life coaching, and uh, good luck, my friends. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. You know what I mean? Take a bath, relax. Don't sweat it too much. It all plays out by itself sometimes because <clears throat> that's how karma works. Peace and prayer, my friends. I'll see you again. Thanks for watching.